So Wall Street just placed a massive $1 billion bet on IonQ, a quantum computing company. We're gonna go into this billion dollar equity offering, what it means, and my personal opinion about all of it. Recently, I revised my Quantum 8, which I do every four to six weeks, and I gave IonQ first place, and that was before this news. So check out that link if you wanna learn more about my current Quantum 8 power rankings. Now let's dive into this equity offering and see what this is all about. Okay, so what's in this this equity offering? So this investment demonstrates IonQ's unique position in commercial quantum computing and networking. This $1 billion equity offering consists of 14 million shares of IonQ's common stock, each valued at $55.49 per share, and pre-funded warrants to purchase another 3.8 million shares of IonQ's common stock, each at $55.49 per pre-funded warrant, each representing about a 25% premium to the stock price on July 3rd, 2025, as well as seven-year warrants to purchase an additional 36 million shares of IonQ's common stock for no additional consideration at an exercise price of almost $100 per share. And this is really interesting to me because I'm gonna put this on the screen, but that's my price target, 100 per share for INQ by the end of 2025. Now, Nicola Damasi, the president and CEO of INQ said, we believe this is the largest common stock single institutional investment in the history of quantum industry. It is a tremendous validation of our technical momentum, recent acquisitions, IP, and talent density. With this transaction, IonQ will benefit from a balance sheet of approximately $1.68 billion of pro forma cash as of March 31st, 2025, underwriting our sustained growth and pioneering quantum commercialization world, worldwide. I'm going to give you my opinion on this, but I, I just wanted to pull up a, this tip ranks article as this gives a little bit more insight this deal boosts INQ's cash reserves to 1.68 billion with this funding the company is expected to scale its quantum systems expand partnerships and push toward its goal of building a 2 million qubit machine by 2030. we know that earlier this year INQ announced an accelerated roadmap because of their recent acquisitions of Oxford Ionics and LightSync. I mean, that got me more bullish on INQ as a company before this even happened. So there was some debate on Twitter today and someone asked Grok, what, what are the strategic benefits of this offering? What's the bear case? What's the bull case? What this boils down to is this is a massive cash infusion. Also, it's a massive cash infusion at a price premium. So the money that they're getting now is actually valued higher than the current shares on the market. There's also a high exercise price. The 99.88 exercise price for the seven year warrants is more than double the current stock price, meaning they're out of the money and will only be exercised if INQ stock price rises significantly. So what is this? This is a massive, massive institutional investor buying long calls on quantum for the strongest quantum player for dirt cheap. That's what this is. A hundred dollars is nothing compared to what this company can and most likely will do in the next two, three, four years at the pace they're going. So these warrants are going to print and that was kind of the bear case that it would dilute existing shareholders because there'd be 17% of new shares. But I think if the stock is going up, people are gonna be happy in either case. So let's take a look at INQ's recent news and press releases. So we saw that in June, so just two weeks ago, that INQ and the University of Washington simulated a process linked to the universe's matter, antimatter imbalance. Quantum computer simulation of symmetry breaking phenomena has potential to advance the frontier of quantum enabled fundamental physics. If you'd like to read more about this, all these press releases are on INQ's news page. INQ announced an agreement to acquire Oxford Ionics, accelerating a path towards, I don't want to repeat myself too much, but essentially they this would not this acquisition would not have been allowed because these companies are so good independently and for INQ to 
acquire Lightseek. And Oxford Ionics is a huge, huge deal for their timeline, for their science, and for just their dominance in quantum computing. So Oxford Ionics announced they have entered into a definitive agreement for IonQ to acquire Oxford Ionics in a trash in a transaction valued at 1 billion, which will consist of 1 billion in shares of IonQ common stock and approximately 10 million in cash. One of the most important sentences here, the combined company expects to build systems with 256 physical qubits at accuracies of 99.99% by 2026 and advance to over 10,000 physical qubits with logical accuracies of essentially 100% by 2027. Absolutely mind blowing, mind blowing. Then we had the acquisition of LightSync, accelerating quantum computing and networking roadmap. This deal accelerates the shift from experimental bulk optics to scalable optical chips, moving us closer to commercializing our next generation of advanced quantum technologies and the quantum internet. A lot of people forget that IonQ isn't just building quantum computers, they're also doing quantum networking, which will become more and more important in the future. Let's just quickly look at IonQ's financial and how this equity offering has changed the game for this company. So we can see that from 2021 through 2024, they were steadily increasing revenue. Recently, there's been a little bit of a drop off. If we look at the overall trend, the overall trend is IonQ is making money from quantum computing and their partnerships. Their operating income, they have been burning more cash. And one thing I like to do is I like to look at the jobs pages for companies to just get an idea. So right now they have 73 jobs. By comparison, I just looked at Rigetti and Rigetti had like seven or eight. So take from that what you will, but hiring is usually an indicator of growth and growth is usually an indicator of more revenues. So their free cash flow, while there's been a trend to more burn, they have burned less in the last couple of quarters. Their operating cash flow while following the same trend has been going in the right direction. And this is where things get really interesting. And their assets and liabilities, as reported in March 25 quarter, this green here just got this big because of that 1 billion acquisition. So that is clearly an anomaly for IonQ. And IonQ has been pretty solid going into this. So their assets and their cash and cash equivalents should be much better, which will allow them to keep doing these acquisitions, will keep hiring, keep doing this research. So this is really, really good news for IonQs. It's really good news for quantum. If you're interested in quantum computing, you love to hear the B and the billion, $1 billion. Wall Street isn't betting $1 billion on a moonshot. They've got to have concrete evidence from IonQ that they, are, they have a pathway to increase profitability and revenue. These people aren't dumb. They're not burning hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. They $1 billion, think about that, $1 billion added to this equation. Really incredible. Congratulations to IonQ and congratulations to the quantum industry for getting this influx of investment. We're gonna quickly look at the chart for IonQ. And IonQ, since March and April, kind of had this double bottom around $17, $18. And since April, it's been in a steady uptrend. It's been actually holding this uptrend and validating this blue line, this rising support over and over and over again. In fact, recently we've got some separation from the rising support, which indicates an acceleration of the bullishness. And I've called this before, but for a while we've been sitting on a, a very classic bull flag. And we validate, we validate, we've shot up, and we close today around $45. However, if we look back, we're not too far away from retesting all-time highs. So we're here in this zone one. Zone two would be this gap to push up to this wick touch here. And then from that point, you guys, 
it's price discovery. It, it's how high can this thing go? And if IMQ delivers better revenues quarter over quarter, if they announce a breakthrough with their quantum computers, if they have new clients or customers, INQ stock is just gonna to continue to go up and the company is gonna to continue to become more valuable. INQ self-proclaims they are the NVIDIA of quantum computing. That's what they want to be. And I'm buying the story right now. If we go over to thequantumbull.com and we click on the invest page, INQ just earned the number one spot on the Quantum 8. And I believe historically, this is the first time that INQ has been there. If we look back at one point, it was a Microsoft, then it was D-Way for a couple months. So yeah, so this is the first time INQ has been rank one on my Quantum list. And this was before the extra billion to play with. So now you have D-Wave Quantum with $815 million of cash. You have Regetti with over half a billion dollars of cash. And now you have IonQ with $1.6 billion in cash. In a growing sector with growing interest. It's truly a sight to see. Definitely a historic day for Quantum. All right, guys, so that is everything. So I opened up memberships on the YouTube channel. If you'd like to support the quantumbull.com and this YouTube channel, check it out. We have almost a dozen members already, and they're kind of this, these founding members. So you're still early if you join. Um, there's options starting at like $4.99 if you wanna join, and I'm posting kind of more casual videos and some updates on buys and sells and just really active in the community there in the membership community. So if you'd like to join, I'll leave a link in the comments and hope you guys have a great day in the market. We'll talk to you soon.